Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to cover Java 8 coding interview questions. So we are going to take one employee class and we are going to add certain fields in that employee class and we are going to uh, do the coding interview questions on that Java 8 coding interview questions, okay? So we are going to cover below type of questions in this particular video. Like we are going to cover by using filter, then map, then sorting, then grouping by, and, and then by combining operations, okay? So we will start with the filter first. So we will start from the easiest one to the toughest one. So let's get started. So we are going to cover first question based on the filter operation. So our first question is filter employees by city and age. So in this case, a city and an age will be given to you and you have to find out the employees who live in that city and their age is that particular age, whatever is given. Okay. So now we will go to our spring tool suit and we will try to do this kind of a question. So here we are on our spring tool suit and we have created one employee class in which fields are employee name, age, salary and city. And we have an employee main class in which I have added some dummy values. So we will first say like string city, like we want the city, the candidate should be living in the New York. Okay, suppose I'm just for this, I'm doing it like he's living in the New York and his age is 25. Okay, so we want to filter or we want to filter out the employee who lives in New York City and whose age is 25. So what we can do is we have to use this employees dot stream dot filter. Okay, and here we are using the lambda expression x dot get age whose age should be equal to this age, right? And and his uh, city should be New York x dot get city dot equals should be New York, right? So now we have to collect it back to a list. So what we can do is dot collect collectors dot to list. Okay, so here we have done it. So we will just try to print this. It will return you as it will return you a list. Okay. So suppose I am just collecting it to a list. I'm just saying it to be employees one. Okay, let's try to print it. Employees one. So here if you see he has given us Michael Johnson whose age is 25 and lives in the city of New York. Now suppose we want the uh, candidate who lives in Chicago but whose age is 25. Okay. So now let's try to see do we have any employee? Yeah. See here it is returning the empty list so that there is no, uh, no employee who lives in city Chicago and whose age is 25. Okay. So one thing more I want to tell you. So here we are using collect collectors dot two list, right? So if you are using Java 8, then you have to do it with this. But in Java 17, you can just use to list, okay? Which will return you the same thing, whatever we were doing before, okay? So this was our first question. Now we will move to the next question. So our next question is filter a list of employee to include only those who are younger than 30 year of age, okay? We are using employees dot stream dot filter and we want the employee age should be less than 30 correct and we want to collect it back to a to list so we will uh, just print this and we will see are we getting it or not so yeah here if you see it has returned like michael johnson whose age is 25 then emily brown 24 so now let's move to the next question so our next question says filter employees who are earning salary more than 50,000. So here we are employees dot stream dot filter okay, x dot get salary should be greater than 50,000. Okay, we can take it back to a list and we will just try to print it. Okay. So yeah, these are the employees whose salary is greater than 50,000. So now let's move to the next question. So our next question are based upon the mapping operation. Okay. The first question is convert employee names to uppercase and store them back to a list. So here we are. So we will do employees dot stream dot map x dot get employee name dot to uppercase. Okay, and we are going to collect it to a list and we will just say upper case. It will be it will be returning you the strings, right? Not the employee object. Yeah. So sys out 
double case and let's try to print it yes if you see it has converted all the names to the uppercase like so now let's move to the next question so our next question says create a list that contains the length of the name of all the employees using java stream so now suppose we have joe john doe like what exactly the length is john is four character doe is three character and one is space that total eight right and then so suppose we have another employee whose name is abc so his length is three so this kind of a we have to create a list where we are just keeping the length of the name of employee okay so let's move to the spring tool sort get employee name dot length and we want to kind of check take it back to a list so we will just directly print it and yeah let's see yes so it has converted so john four characters this is three total eight let's move to the next question so our next question says generate a map where keys are the employee name and values are initial of their names okay so suppose john doe is this is the key and value is j and t because its initial are j and t right so let's do this question so let's get started so we will do this again employees dot stream and we have to create a map right so maps key will be the name of the employee and value will be the initials like j and t so we'll do uh, collect we have already done collectors to map so the key will be the name of the employee so we'll use the method referencing get employee name and value for that we are going to use the lambda expression and we will create a method and we will call this method by using this lambda expressions okay so we are sending this particular whatever the key value will be getting we will uh, whatever the uh, you know the list we are getting we are sending that list to this particular method and here we are going to create the method okay so first of all from this take out the name and no, now we want to do this split so we want to split it by based upon the space okay we want to split it based upon the space and it will return you a string array and we will just say emp names okay so now we will create a string builder because we want to append the first character like the here j and s okay so we'll use p is equal to new string builder and we will use the for each method name and here we will add employee names okay so we will do sp dot append name dot caret index zero because we want the first index okay first index like j we want and then s so we want to append it so we have appended it and now we will return it and we will try to print it so now see let's see what it prints see here it has given john day jd olivia wilson ow so now let's move to the next question so now our next question are based upon the sorting operation so we will see the first question so first question says implement a java 8 comparator to sort a list of employee based on their names in alphabetical order so we want to we want to use the comparator and we want to sort the employees name based upon their alphabetical order okay so let's go to the spring tool suit and we will do this program So employees dot stream so we have a function called sorted and we want to sort them based upon the names right so comparator sorry so we will be using the comparator dot comparing and we want to sort them based upon the name yes let's try to print this it will return another list right to do list Yeah, here it has sorted it based upon the uh, based upon their names like Emily e is coming first then J in an alphabetical order this is okay so if we want to uh, sort it based on the reverse order so we can use here reversed okay and it will sort it based upon the reverse order so W came then O came so next now let's move to the next question so our next question says write a uh, sort employees by age and salary write a comparator to sort a list of employees first by age in ascending order and for employees with the same age sort them by salary in descending order okay so we want to sort it first we have to sort it by age 
okay after sorting it by age in ascending order now suppose there can be a chance like two employees are having the same age so if they are having the same age so we want to sort their salary we want to sort them based upon their salary in descending order okay so let's move to the spring tool suit and we will try to do this flow so it says first we have to sort it based upon the age okay string dot sorted comparator dot comparing get age right then we have to sort it based upon their salary and that should be in the descending order okay dot collect there is one method dot then comparing okay so we will just give a space so that can be readable so we have to do it again comparator dot comparing based upon the salary right employee get salary and that should be in the reversed order correct so first we have to sort it based upon the age and if two employees are having the same age then it should be based upon their salary right so let's try to print this it will return as a list right to to list yeah here if you see we have first sorted it based upon the age like 24 then 25 then 27 and here if you see two employees like john smith jane smith and john doe both are having the same age right like the 32 their age is 32 so we want to like both are having the same age now if the two employees are having same age then we want to sort it by their salary and that should be in the reverse order okay so here if you see the salary of jane smith was seventy five thousand, so that's why it came first and the salary of john doe was sixty thousand. that's why it came second now suppose we make his salary as eighty thousand ninety thousand so now John Doe should come first and Jane Smith should come after that. So now let's try to run this. Here if you see John Doe whose salary was 90,000 came first and uh, then Jane Smith whose salary is now lesser than the 90,000 came after that. Okay. So now let's move to the next question. So our next question says sort the employees by their city first and within each city sort them by their names in reversed alphabetical order. Okay. So what we have to do is First, we have to sort the employees by their city and suppose two employees are having the same city then we want to sort them by their names in reverse alphabetical order it should be in the reverse order okay it is similar to that of the first one employees dot stream dot sorted so we will just give a space here so we want to sort them based upon their city first comparator dot comparing employees by their city sorry by their city first okay and if two employees are having the same city then by their name in reverse order dot so we will just give the space again dot then comparing comparator dot comparing again by their name right employee get sorry get employee name and that should be in the reverse order dot reverse it is similar to that of the first one so now let's try to print this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. We have to convert it to a list, right? Yeah. Here, if you see, so the city is Chicago starts with C, comes first, and then it's Chicago again. So both are having the same city. So we want to sort it by their name, and that should be in the decreasing order or in the decreasing. So W, William is coming here and the second is Jane, right? So W comes after Jane. So it's in the reversed order. If we will not use the reversed order, so this one, Jane Smith will come first and Williams will come second. Okay, so let's try to do this. We are just removing this reversed order. So here if you see, both are Chicago and Chicago, both are having the same city. And it has sorted in an ascending order where J is coming first and then the W is coming, right? So this is the sorting based upon the sorting first we have sorted it based upon the city and if two employees are having the same city then we are sorting it based upon the name and that should be in the reverse order correct so now we will move to the next question so our next question is based upon the grouping by operation so our question is group employees by city java it's stream to group employees by their city and store the result in a map so we want to group the employees by city like suppose there are employees who are living in chicago 
then whosoever is sleeping in Chicago, the Chicago should be the key and value should be the employee object. Two employees will be there, right? Last in the last example we have seen. Those two should be in the value. So now we will see how we can do this. So here we are and we want to result it back to a map, right? So we have to use this employees dot stream and we have to use this collect and there is something called collectors dot grouping by okay it will return you a map okay so here we want employees we are using the method referencing here get city right so we want to group all the employees like uh, like uh, if chicago should be the key and value should be the john smith and john day right so now let's try to run this it will result it will give you a map where it will be grouped based upon the city So here if you see in the New York, only one guy is living who is John Doe, okay. So next is, sorry, in the New York we have two employees, one is John Doe and one is Michael Johnson. So here if you see, New York is the key and the value is this, first employee is this one, second employee is this one, Michael Johnson, right. Similarly, for the Chicago city, Chicago is the key and there are two employees like one is the Jane Smith who is living in Chicago and then is the William Davis. So yeah, William Davis who is living in the Chicago. So this is all about the grouping by. So now we will move to the next question. So yeah guys, so we will stop the video here because it will, if we will cover all the question, the video length will get increased. So in the upcoming video, the part two of this video, we will cover the more questions based upon the grouping by and based upon the combining operations. And there are some few more questions which are very important in Java 8. So if you like the video, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.